everyone. Happy Friday. Who's ready for the weekend? I know Alex and I are getting ready to go out on the boat. We have not gone out on the boat hardly at all this summer, and I feel like summer is coming to an end. Oh, I didn't. I just want to go, and it's supposed to be like 85, sunny, and then rain all weekend. So drop in the chat what some of the things are you're going to be doing this weekend. Um, sounds like Alex and I are just going to be getting some work done this weekend um, because, well, it's going to rain all weekend. So welcome, welcome. Excited to chat with you guys. So the topic that I have for you is I got this question today. How do you gain momentum in your business? So for all of you business lovers out there, drop in the chat what you're doing, where you have your business, um, what you guys do. Let me know. Hello, TikTok. Hello, Facebook. We've got all the things going on here, and I'm really excited to talk to you guys. We've got some really fun things. I made tons of notes. So let's dive right in. Okay. So how do you gain momentum in your business? Whether it doesn't matter what kind of business you're in, a lot of times, like you guys know, network marketing, here we go. So one of the big things that you need to do is finding your message. So what is the message that you want to portray? Whether that is, um, I know for us, we do a lot of things with pets. So it really took me a while to kind of figure out like, what was my story? Like, what was my thing that was really driving me? So sometimes people call it your why, but like also what is your, what's the message that you really want to get out? So for me, uh, if you guys don't know, like when I was in eighth grade, my dad had gotten to a really terrible accident and it was really, really hard on our family. So I was actually left home alone a lot. And I mean, I was in eighth grade, so I was able to, but my mom was at the hospital. My um, one sister was in college. My other sister was a senior in, in uh, high school. Um, they were just really, really busy with doing things and like processing their own stuff. And so I was just kind of home alone, like after school, those types of things. And we had outdoor cats. So at the time there was no pets allowed in the house whatsoever. Like my dad, that was like a hard and fast rule. Like, nope, not happening. So I was lonely and I was started bringing the cats inside. <laughs> I was like, I need some company and I just want to cuddle with them inside. So that's what we're going to do. So I started kind of bringing the cats inside. Well, my dad was in the hospital um, for months. And by the time he got home, next thing you know, we have indoor kitties. <laughs> and it was, uh, yeah, head injury at all. Like it was just bad. It was bad. So I, um, that's really where I found my passion. Like I knew that I really wanted to do something with pets my entire life. Like a veterinarian, um, maybe a zoologist. Maybe I wanted to work with um, like animals that have been in the ocean, those types of things. Hey guys, thanks for jumping on. Facebook user Deb and Candace, welcome, welcome. Um, so I knew that I always wanted to do something with pets, but I didn't know, like I went to, I started going to college and like science was just not really my jam ish kind of thing. But I just was like, man, I just love animals so much. I really want to do something with them. Animal physical therapist, massage therapist, like all of these things that I wanted to do. Well, I went to school, I went to college and I applied for like intro to animals or whatever. Yeah, I literally took one day of science and they're like, start on, you know, chapter six. And I was like, nope, mm -mm. immediately left the class and changed my major to graphic design because I'm also pretty artsy. So I completely, I was just like, boom, I completely changed it. Well, that dream kind of got smashed for a while. I was like, I'm not smart enough to be a veterinarian or do any of these other things. So I guess I'm just going to take the easy way out. But come to, uh, to pass for quite a few years later, I was in a job that I absolutely hated. Absolutely hated. And I found, found my business on Facebook. And it took a while for me to kind of get started to gain some traction. But once I did, it's been a game changer. 
And it even took me a little while to kind of find that message. It took me going to um, one of Denise Walsh's um, retreats and me crying in the woods about because she was just like, that's not your story. Like all when I was telling her she was, you know, we're working through all of this mental stuff. And she's like, you've got something deeper. You've got something deeper. And I'm just like, "Okay, it's my dad's accident because pets were there for me when I needed them. And so I want to be there for my pets for when they need when they need me. But also like they're so loving, they're so giving, they do so much for us and I just want to give back to them and be able to say, you know, I want to help our pets to be there for when we need them, but also to be there for them. Like it's this like give and take between animals. Like let let's be honest here. <laughs> you know, you've got some of those like heart dogs, soul cats, like all of those things. And don't you want the absolute best for them? Like, yeah, yeah, you do. So it took me a while to kind of figure that message out. Now, sometimes you might need to try some things. So part of building momentum in your business is trying some different things out. Try this story for a while and see, hey, um, I can swipe for what? Okay, sorry. Uh, Okay. Uh, that's weird. Sorry. Things are going on. I don't know what's going on, but we're just kind of going to go with it. Anyway, so try some different things out. Don't be afraid to be like, okay, this is my story for right now. This is my message that I want to be talking about. But guess what? It's your business. You can change what your message is. Maybe something else happens in your life and you're like, this is much more of a stronger message. Uh, I love your shirt. I feel like it's my... <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty. I have one for cats too, because that literally happens like pretty much every morning. <laughs> Why I don't get out of bed because my cat's sleeping on me. So, you know, whatever, whatever. We're going with it. We're going with it. All right. So try some things out. Maybe this message doesn't work for you. Maybe you're like, I'm, I'm trying this out, but it's just not really my jam. I'm not really feeling it. And that's kind of how I was with my first story. It's kind of like, eh, like my first message. It just wasn't deep enough. It didn't have that like feeling attached to it. So this is very much more of like real life. This is what we do. This is my jam. This is my story. And this is my message is I want to be able to help all these other pets to be able to live their best and happiest and healthiest life possible. And so that they can be there for them and we can get to be there for them as well. Okay. Uh, next thing is. All right, so trying out some of the products for yourself. So one of the big things is, like, if you jump into a, a business, you need to know about the products. You need to experience the products yourself. Like, how can you be talking about something? I mean, you can. You can rely on other testimonials, which we're, we'll get to later. So, yeah, maybe you don't have an old dog and they don't need, um, you know, the doggy dementia shoes. Like, maybe they don't need those things, so you don't really have – Okay, but there's products that people can use. It doesn't matter what kind of pet you have. So just getting in and trying some products. So it doesn't matter what business you're in. If you knit sweaters for cats and dogs, like, all right, well, you need to actually try out some making some sweaters. You need to get some of these sizes. You need to test some of these things out. Well, you actually have to go and buy the yarn and start buying the knitting needles and actually knit those shirts. <laughs> you know, maybe you need to go and borrow your, your neighbor's cat so you can size it properly. Whatever those things are. Like if you're making tumblers, you actually have to buy the materials to make the cute tumblers with all the sprinkles and the words and the pictures and stuff, right? Same goes with a network marketing company. You have to try some of the products out. So that's the big thing. And then you got to be talking about them. That's all you got to do. Share your story saying, hey, I'm really excited. I got these these uh, special sprinkles for my picky dog or my picky cat, and I'm really excited to give them a try. That's all you have to do. You just got to be talking about your experience on the, the stuff that you're trying. So that is uh, the next tip. Um, and then, yeah, sharing stories from others. So if you have customers, really be asking them for pictures, for asking them for, hey, how is your pet liking things? Check, like you should be checking in with them anyway because it's a customer. But maybe they can write a testimonial for you. Maybe they can um, put one on the website or things like that. So really asking for these things so that you can be getting, saying, hey, this is a real life person and this is their dog tried this food and it completely changed their life. This is what they had to say about it. 
And so the, it's getting um, more of that like buy-in type of thing because people see, oh, other people have tried this more than just you. And okay, maybe I'm, now I'm going to trust this, uh, this different person. But you having those stories, getting ones from the website of whatever, um, you know, thing you're on, maybe your own tumblers, so you really got to get your own customers things. So sharing stories from others. Uh, the other thing is get loud, people. Let's get loud up in here. So right now I am on TikTok. I'm also on like three places on Facebook. So you want to get loud about what you're talking about, the things that you're passionate about. It doesn't even have to necessarily be your message, um, your products, your whatever, but getting loud just in general. What that's going to do is really going to be gaining a following for you on whatever platforms you are. Now, you guys know social media is my jam. I love social media. It has done amazing things for my husband and I, and I just believe in it so much. But you guys got to get loud about things, whether you're talking about it on your stories or talking and posting it on Instagram so it also goes on your Facebook and saving those down and putting them on your TikTok. That's what I did this morning. That is me getting loud, louder than I've ever done before, being more consistent on my TikTok stories. So you also want to be, so you want to be producing that content and try again, try some things out, get into the platforms and try things. If you go and you post it and it's crap, guess what? You can delete it. It's, it's, it's okay. You can delete it. <laughs> now it's probably better than you think it is. Uh, but just getting in, playing with some things, maybe you can do, uh, tips about some sort of something that you're passionate about. Me, I love puzzles. Now, can I really do tips on puzzles? Well, maybe. If I thought about it, I probably could. But maybe you like to, um, well, Candace, I know you were on here. So you like to paint um, and, and create things. So maybe there's things that with painting that you can be talking about. Now, is that going to necessarily gain momentum in your business? Maybe. Because you are getting, you're getting consistent. You're getting loud. And you're not just saying like product, 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 product constantly. You're not saying that, oh, tumblers are the only thing or, you know, your product is your only thing, but you are showing people who you are so they know, like, and trust you. That's a, it's huge in business. I mean, you aren't going to buy a car from someone that you, like, I know a bunch of people who sell cars. So I'm going to go to somebody that I know because I like them and I trust them. Yeah. So producing content, getting loud. Also, be excited. Okay, I know not everybody has the amount of energy that I do. It's I totally understandable. That's fine. But if you're if I'm sitting here and I'm doing a live like this, how exciting is that? Can you put it up two notches? Can you just put it up a little bit so maybe you're not as excited, but you've got a little bit going on? Can you talk with your hands? Can you get some props going on? Do some things that make it exciting. Woo! And who cares if you're live and your dog, somebody pulls into your driveway and your dogs go crazy and start barking. Guess what? If you're talking about pets, you probably have a bunch of pet people who can totally relate. Totally fine. <laughs> but be excited. And if whatever your energy level is, notch that up two times and it's going to be better. So. Also, when do you have the most energy? Be thinking about this. So if you know that you've got energy, you got more energy first thing in the morning, do the things that need more energy then. If I try and go and make TikToks at five, six o'clock at night, and I've only had one thing of caffeine, good luck. <laughs> like I know that it's gonna be crap. <laughs> I know that I need to be doing lives like this before two o'clock in the afternoon. Like I, I'm really excited. So we're going out on the boat. So I'm like, ah, energy up the wazoo, really excited. But if you know that you, by two o'clock, you are drained. Don't try to do lives that, that time. Don't try to do TikToks. Don't try to do whatever these things that are that are going to be making content and building up your business, the things that need more energy. Don't wait until it's later. Figure out your schedule so you can work when you've got the most amount of energy, when you're most creative. 
you know, those types of things, whatever works into your schedule, you know, but like also know, I know that if Alex and I are shooting TikToks, it's got to be in the morning. If I'm going to be working on a big project that's going to take a lot of energy, we've got to work on that during the day because by like three, four o'clock, five o'clock, I am tapped out and I'm just like, nope, it is chill time. Can we go out on the boat? Can we get into the hot tub? Can we just go and hang out? Is that what we can do? All right. So be excited. Know when you've got your first, the, your most energy. All right. Um, be excited about your small wins. So many times people are like, oh, well, I only made it enough to put gas in my car. You know how many people wish that they could be making enough just to put gas in their car for the week? Celebrate those small wins. If it's your first sale, if it's your eighth sale, if it's your first tumbler, your 17th hundredth tumbler, whatever, be excited when you are able to help change a pet's life right? Like I've got uh, a new customer. She sent me the most adorable picture of her and the dogs, uh, her dog Nova with all of the products and everything. And I was like, yeah, put it in my stories, all the, all the things, because I'm excited to help change. I mean, the, the puppy's only, uh, she's just turned seven months old. Like, just think of the difference that we could make by getting this dog on some amazingly great nutrition from six, seven months old for the, its entire life. Just think about amazing things that could happen for that pet. So, so excited. Celebrate your small wins. Every single one of them, celebrate them. If you have people on your team, celebrate their wins because that's going to get you excited. If you have a new team member, be shouting those types of things out, letting people know, hey, I've got other people that are interested in doing this too. I got other people that you know want more tumblers or I'm going to this vendor event with my tumblers or with my, my pet nutrition business. Like Whatever those things are, definitely the, all of your small wins be shouting those out because those are really the things that people can relate to. So, all right, next, next tip. Um, oh, and be someone that you want, that you would want to be around. Like if you're mopey, you're like, everything sucks. Like people don't want to be around that. So just be happy, be grateful for things, be excited about things because all of that kind of energy is infectious. And then people are going to be like, oh my goodness, I got to be in. I got to know what she's doing. I have to follow her. She does this one, she does a post about quotes in the morning, every morning. And it just gives me, it's, it never fails. Every single time that quote, whatever she posts is what exactly I need to hear. Be the type of person that uplifts other people. Because that's going to draw in people. You're going to get more of a following because you're uplifting, you're excited, you are. And so that's how you can build momentum in your business is by being someone that people want to be around. All right. So be checking your, your um, I don't, was going to say personality. <laughs> Be checking your attitude and being like, man, am I being a Debbie Downer or am I being someone that somebody would say, hey, I want to do business with her because she's really fun. And man, she just is just so I, I don't even know what she's talking about, but I just need to know what she's what she's doing. And I'm going to whatever. I'm going to get some stuff from her because she's just so passionate and excited about what she's doing. You start doing that. You're going to be gaining more followers because and you're be talking about stuff that people want to be talking that people want to know about too. And with being in the pet space, so you can teach so many different things. You can show some of the recipes that we have, you know, adding the paw pairings and adding the treats. That's not very expensive. So I know people are really hurting for money right now. Uh, believe me, I totally get it. And they, we have so many things to offer them. But even if it's just you saying, okay, I'm going to start with a bag of treats and a bottle of pop earrings. You can be talking about different recipes that you can be making. Maybe it's enrichment for dogs and cats. That's huge right now, on, especially on TikTok. So what are some of the things that you can be talking about to help educate people so they want to follow you more? So when something does come up with their pet, they're thinking about you. They're like, I'm going to go to that pet guru girl that I keep seeing on TikTok that's making all the reels on Instagram, whatever it is. So be someone that somebody would want to follow. 
and actually the people that you follow, think about why are you following them? What is it about them that you like want? Why do you want to follow that person? Do they give good tips? Do they, are they engaging? Are they excited? Like really be thinking about some of those things and then see what are some of the things that are, are honest to you, but that you could kind of pick up from that. I've got so many different um, like mentors that I follow. Guess what? They got lots of energies because that's who I am. So I can really be able to follow these types of people. And, you know, like, oh, by the way, over on TikTok, go give me some follows. Ah, you're liking what you're seeing. Give me some follows. Give me some love. Give me some hearts. All right. Last tip I can give you or that I thought of at least because this is getting pretty long here. But how to build momentum in your business is follow the leader. So if you've got someone that is, especially for network marketing, follow the leader. What is working for people that are more successful than you? Ask them, like, what can I do that you're doing? Like, what are you doing to be successful? And then follow the leader and start doing those things. If you've got an upline that says go live, you need to be going live, you need to be posting, do those things because it's been successful for them and they can help teach you how to do those same, those same things. And you're only going to get better if you actually start doing it. <laughs> so many times I hear people are like, well, I, I don't know how to do TikToks or I don't know how to do Reels. Start doing them. I didn't know how to do them either. I had no clue. I just had to get in and do it messy and figure things out. Like if you could see my very first TikTok, you can scroll all the way down. That was my first ever short form video ever. I should go, I should actually go and repost that. <laughs> it's a pretty good one. It's during COVID. But you should you can scroll down. You can go and see it. It's not great. It's a really crappy like quality video. <laughs> like but guess what? Uh, now I'm here going live for what 20 minutes. And I learned along the way. So get in, start pushing some buttons. You, who knows what's going to happen? So you can always undo things. You can always uninstall the app and reinstall and start from scratch. So those are my tips for you guys today on how to build momentum in your business. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please share it with your team. Share it with uh, other business owners that you know that maybe are struggling. Share it around. Give me some love. Give me some follows. And I am excited and really excited to be coming to you guys next week. So be watching out because I've got some more business tips for you guys. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye.